Hello again, everybody. We now have closed captioning here on Twitch. Uh, but hello, welcome back. I am Razim. We're doing Ascent to Ascend Pathfinder Season 4, Episode 12, Part 2 now, unexpectedly. But I guess that means we can go for another uh, six hours now. So cool. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, an unexpected boon. Oh, hey, here we go. An unexpected boon. We get more game um, time. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that because I actually fell asleep earlier when you were doing your whole wandering around town thing. Um, but I don't know if Moriarty, Gar, Timber, Feldarius, if they're on board with that. I have all the pre work <clears throat> out in the world. I'm ready to go. What's up? <clears throat> oh, we're going How another longer... six hours, Moriarty. If it's an actual six, I will not have the energy for that at all. <laughs> okay, Where's we'll go another four. Bard? <laughs> we all know Timbo has all the stamina. Because the crusade Stan never ends. Stamina! Stamina! You're a total stand for the Empress. That's what that is. Yep, I always stand. The line will be held. No, don't read Timber's captions. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they're terrible bad. Oh, Montgomery yeah, Timber's <laughs> Montgomery Timber's <laughs> captions. And, and we, we showed, showed that, that chairman. <laughs> AI always has a hard time picking up my voice. It's indirect taxes for the Amazon. What? Uh-huh. I told you. Holy crap, this is so bad. It's don't his accent. Know, don't you know I'm like the perfect agent to defeat Skynet? I can't understand a <laughs> word I'm saying. And we're leaving it. Just as a Kaiser intended. We're leaving it because it's funny. Oh, I wish leaving it because it. it's funny. Rabbinical. Rabbinical. <laughs> Rabbinical. I, I, to I told you, it, it has a whole time understanding anything I say. Relating well, I mean, by the, by the word, it's got to be rabbi, rabbi yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, by the word, it's got to do something to do with rabbis. We, we need to proceed. <laughs> Oh, hold oh my on. God. There's one thing I gotta do real fast. Rygon cute! Oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, did that break all the hockey icons? Nope. Because I didn't no. get moved. It's when I get moved by somebody else that it breaks everything. But, but I had to go over and uh, call Rygon cute real fast. Oh, okay. You monster. Anyways, a uh, very brief recap for stuff. Uh, go, Timber. That's your cue. Uh, okay, okay. Click. Bang! That, 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 oh, that was wait, brief. Wait. That was sorry, a brief sorry. recap. Uh... <laughs> We're looking for the twins. Twins were missing. Uh, he mind wiped Elvis, and then we got back to the boat. Sounds good. Brief. Carry on. I think we were going to go with the people leaving town next. Yeah. Uh, yep. There was one thing I wanted to do. Uh, storyteller Temple wanted to take one shot from uh, what you call it, Brutus, take it down to the kobolds and tell them to go make more of these. Alright. Well, the uh, the inventor the inventor agrees to see what he can do. Alright. Depending on how good your job you do, depends on the reward. Uh, payment in copper. Cop on booze. All right. Uh, so yeah, they'll uh, they'll start inspecting the the cannonball and all that. 
Oh, Addy. Temple will go up to the deck, pick up the cult, stomp down the thing, put the cult down. And get ready to start dragging it. All right, so who all is going on this trip? Rose Besides, is flying you know, like, overhead of this trip. She's she is uh, getting all of the flight practice in she possibly can. Yeah, I'm more questioning. Um, you know what NPC like hirelings are you taking? Um, all three of the skeletons plus Sycamore. Oh, and the barrel of uh, yet to be animated rats. All right. Uh, anything else? Tempo's leaving his brethren behind to watch over the kids. Yep. We may need one cleric at least. Why? Oh, yeah! Going to Adrix. Chemo did hire some clerics. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to marry someone, you literally got Temple. He's a paladin. Well, now, now you also have uh, the twins. And the twins. But it's not for, it's not for that though. What is it for? They well, can this place, conjure food and heal they, people. They can conjure food. They can heal people. And that place was infested by the undead. We have you two who can fly and heal. We have me who can cut down uh, loads of infantry. The, the twins aren't going on this adventure. They oh. don't know about it. Well, we're not leaving without them. Yeah, everyone was going to wait until everyone was back on the back on the ship. Oh. And they did need, like, everyone. Okay. And the clerics um... need training time in actual... Let him, That's why I asked about time skipping. Let him, let him practice making food on the deck with the big woven watching over him, and then they can... What I mean is they need to see our tactics and how we work together. Oh. There's going to be a time skip before the uh, the, the uh, expedition to a uh, Adrix Rest is uh, undertaken then Rose would take that opportunity to go animate the rats and then come back. Well, I All mean, right. they probably did watch Temple teaching the kids how to use weapons safely. Oh, yeah, the clerics have just kind of been, like, around, like, seeing how shit works, mostly. And coming to the quick realization that this crew kind of just does whatever the fuck. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't see that as like a bad thing. They're just like making note of it. I I will say out of character that the twins will not be uh, returning until the new ship is ready. However. I was going to do a small little scene. Well, probably not small, but, you know. Uh, with the construction worker guy. Which, I would assume they probably exchanged names at some point. While working. Yeah. Uh, his name is Randy. Randy. Okay. Um... Well, uh, once he goes back to the uh, to his shop, uh, they're gonna follow him in and be like, uh, can, "Can you write a note for us?" Oh uh, yeah, what do you need? Uh, we we need you to write that uh, we'll be back soon, and it needs to be in uh, celestial.
Do I look like I know how to watch Celestial? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, he's just kind of like giving you a look that's like, do you think I know how to write the Celestial? They do not understand his look. All right. Well, you're going to need to get someone else for that, because I do not know Celestial. Oh, we can walk you through it. So you want me to just draw shapes on the paper in a way that you want me to? Yeah. I mean, all right. I'm not making any promises, though. I mean, if they can understand it, Timber will be able to understand it. All right. <laughs> Considering Timber can read his own handwriting and, well, you all saw his handwriting. They can inject it slightly, Orca. Like, temporarily. Can't they just write it themselves with a pen? They don't have thumbs. They have. You literally they just picked up thousands of tons of rock. Uh, you, you telling me you can't pick up a pen? You know that's a good point. I was just waiting for you to realize this. I wasn't gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had. I, 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 took, I took thousands of pounds of of rock and put them in within centimeters of where it's supposed to go. Precision. <laughs> but a pen drawing? Oh. Temple has more control over that than I do. You know, actually, we could do it ourselves. And they're just okay. going to uh, All right. start using their telekinesis for writing it out. And it'll come out the most perfect, like, typing uh, ever. Uh, do you want, uh, like, what, what, print what, typing, oh, or oh. do you want, like, cursive? Print. Print. It, they're literally taking the the pen and like drawing it left and right. You know how like a like a like a copier, you know, and it only like, touches yeah. the paper where it needs to go, and it's just zipping back and forth and just. Yeah, they're not I'm actually writing letter, letter by letter. They're writing, you know, line by line. <laughs> Printer uh, style. Quick, yes. Quick double check. Um, Rat Swarm has three hit dice, right? Um, I will double check. I believe so. The Tana is making plans. Uh, 3d8, yes. Okay, so that'll be six then since I'm making them fast. And I'm using advanced fleshcraft to give them wings. in reserve and we're good um but on the note they're going to say be back soon got a job don't touch the rock a and then they're just going to print uh perfect replicas of their faces at the bottom before each of them uh, plaps their paws into the uh, inkwell to plap down uh, paw prints. All right. And of course, they don't clean their paws, so they just start walking uh, off with it, with the leaving paw prints. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, you're doing it on purpose. I know he is. I'm doing it on purpose. The twins don't understand the, the problem. Yeah. I'm doing it because that's funny. Yeah. Although I do, I do like that the the one uh, magical clerk guy uh, called it out that it was going to happen before it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't make paw points. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back uh, in the morning. All right, well, have a good time. 
and they're gonna go to the ship <laughs> and uh, disappear it into their bag, of course. The, the paper. And they're going stealth mode for planting it uh, on Timber's bed. Okay. They're, they're gonna go into the water and climb up the outside of the back of the ship. Okay. Uh, are, are there any well, open windows there? So, here, let me just go ahead and open up the, the image for the ship, so that way I can check. Images. Player ship. Player shit? Why do you have an image of our ship? Shit. Ship, ship, ship. Ugh. You uh, no. Camel big enough. There is not. <laughs> uh. Remember the false rules to have fun. I posted a thing in media sharing in the uh, Discord server. That looked like a timber weapon. No. The box knife that's going to fly off the hammer that's attached to the drill. Oh, it, it works like orc tech. So long as he believes it'll work, it'll work. <clears throat> Stop hitting yourself. All right, so uh, what do you what do you want the twins to do? Because there's not going to be a window. Okay, in that case, they are going to uh, try to stealthily move uh, around to Timber's door, or one of them is. All right, actually, we've got quite a bit just of range pin on it to the timber. telekinesis. We could probably slide it under his door and just uh, using the telekinesis and just plant it on the bed. Or you could literally just put it on top of Brutus's helmet as he stands guard. Brutus is standing guard. Okay, they will fold it into a paper hat and put it on top of Brutus's head. All right. Does Brutus notice his new gear? No. <laughs> I, I just imagine, you know, he's at Port Arms just standing there with a hat on and, you know, probably Timbo or somebody notices it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just hanging off the uh, back of the ship, looking over the balcony and just seeing him not even notice. And... So they instead uh, unfold it and uh, hold it in front of his face. Uh, Timber, I have a question yeah. for you. Yeah? Uh, when you talk about uh, your pictures being, uh, like, you know, your drawings being high def for Wolven, uh, yeah. does the opposite work? Oh, they're going to have a hard time reading that. <laughs> that like, if he oh, but I also mean for pictures. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, no, I, like, I, I want to... I, yeah, I just wanted to know because... Yeah, this is going to look like crayons and just shit. Like, who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> All right. Let's have a quick literacy check for Brutus. Uh, Brutus has no clue what the fuck it is, and uh, when a wolven is in doubt about whatever the hell something is, uh, show it to the Jägermeister. <laughs> Smart man. So, he, he is gonna take the paper, and he's just gonna, like, you know, say that it was uh, floating in the air in front of him, which was uh, obviously not supposed to do that, but it looks like scribbles, and he doesn't know what it is, and he's gonna hand it over. 
All right, uh, let's see. Temple will do a knowledge check. <laughs> or would that be perception? Uh, th there is literally a uh, linguistics. Oh, scale? yes, linguistics. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, are you ready? Because I'm ready. Minus one. That was almost a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this... And it was just floating in front of you? Yeah, it just came from right above me and floated down. Yeah. It almost looks like language. Like, like there was an attempt here, but... You know what? I retract gonna, what I'm I gonna... said before about if they could understand it, he could. <laughs> uh, this is like the worst handwriting I have ever seen. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe it is language. One of the heretics know what it says. Good job, Buddhist. Temple will, well, you know, salute him, bang his gauntlet to his chest and tell him to go back to being a good boy. Alright, uh, Brutus is gonna give uh, like, you know, a resounding salute and then do a perfect about face, march right back up to the door and stay in stock still. Yep. Doing the Kazuan proud. <laughs> Tipple, you know, looks down at one of the kids, you know, he's like and that's why the Imperium will win. Ever vigilant. And then he goes downstairs to find somebody who can read. So, Rosalia or Moriarty? Yes. Or the heathen that lives in the book armory. That's only if I'm very desperate. Psst. Rosalia, Moriarty, that's your cue. Yeah. Yeah, whichever one of them wants to pick it up. Pick what up? Hey, Moriarty! Moriarty! Hey! Uh -huh. What you doing, buddy? Okay, okay. Temple, does... <laughs> Temple squeezes through the door like... All right, you. I. You know Celestial, right? I think. I actually do. Yeah. Look at this terrible handwriting. Temple shows uh, Moriarty, and it is just absolutely freaking perfect. It is the most technically correct Celestial you have ever seen. Uh, it looks like the kind of, uh, like, if someone had managed to make, like, a printing press and did, like, a block printing. Oh. Uh, this, uh, this isn't terrible handwriting at all. What do you mean? It's all wrong. There's no squiggles! It's all straight! It's supposed to be straight, though. No, it's supposed to be squiggly! Maybe if you write it by hand... Well, you, you can read it? Yeah, very easily. Can you not? No, it's missing... Tibble's right. just gonna, like... He's gonna put his, his gauntlet on his uh, forehead and just go, uh... Or would he just... Just read it to me. You're being mean to him. What does it say? Being mean to Timber. It says, "Be back soon. Got a job. Don't touch the rock." And it, uh, it at the says... bottom, uh, at the bottom is a uh, perfect print of the. Uh, Twins' faces, as well as messy ink splatters of their paw prints. 
Well, it's definitely from the twins. Says be back later. They've got a job and not to touch the rock. The rock? Yeah. Did you have a rock? There's plenty of rocks around this place. There was there one that... You know what, never mind. Assuming that it, you... I assume you know what the rock is. And if you don't, well, then this doesn't help us either way. Uh, hold on a second. Amber, your <laughs> subtitles are being sexist. It said woman second. <laughs> <laughs> watch watch it me watch us get canceled. Just and the radius of the test it said one in second. <laughs> based, Don't worry, based it's based, translating based. to celestial. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't read it. It's speaking in tongues. <laughs> and and you know, we, one day we're gonna run into something that only speaks celestial, and so and then Temple changes his accent to something very posh. <laughs> he just has this weird accent when he's talking so, uh, common. That'd be hilarious. Uh, I'm just gonna roll a knowledge history minus one. Oh God. <laughs> All together one. Mm. All together a one. I don't know what he means by that walk. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be even you. I'm not a rock. I want a rock. That's just what a rock would say. That's just what a rock would say, Moriarty. What? Are you a rock? No, I, I'm not a rock. I'm a fox. You're a fox. With antlers. Antler fox. I don't think I have those anymore, technically, but I'm welcome to keep them. Do you, does he still have antlers? It was never stated that they fell off, so... Um, they would last uh, a day, and as, you know, it hasn't passed over by the next day, yes, he would still have antlers. Okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, Morody, uh, feel weird recently? Pardon? Do you had any, oh, I don't know, intrusive thoughts? No... Can I do a... <laughs> no, I do a sense uh, motive, yeah. Yeah, sense motive. Uh, where is sense motive? Uh, plus two. <laughs> that Moriarty seems very confused by you asking. Okay. But he is telling the truth. Yeah. All right. Well, at least you don't know. That's good. Ignorance is the best defense. The fuck are you on about? I'm on about so many truths that you can't comprehend the knowledge I am laying down to you. But it's okay. Tipple, like, grabs him, like, pats his cheek. You're so precious and ignorant. Stay that way. It's the pot kettle kettle black. Well, I'm in black armor, so. Right, so this, uh, this, this makes more sense, then. Yes. Yes. I'll make a loyalist out of you. Tipple walks out. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Well, Timber tries to walk out, then he kind of gets stuck in the door. <laughs> Timber, you should just, like, get smaller. Why? You get <laughs> stuck a lot. It's bad for your mobility. If the Kaiserun wanted me to be small, she wouldn't have told me my entire life to get big and strong. And as soon as he says that, he squeezes out the door. <laughs> and then you can hear the <laughs> thud on the other side as he, like, throws himself into the wall. I was expecting to hear a pop noise. <clears throat> oh, no, it just sounds like someone dropped a, like, turned over a bucket full of pans. <laughs> Steel pots. Clatter. Clatter thunk. And then More he closes the door behind him. him. All right. Well, I guess at I'll some point, at some point, Rose has returned with her rats, and she is ready to embark on a on the journey. E. Does Moriarty want to come? That depends. What's being told to Moriarty? Uh, Temple will say we're gonna go collect bones. Do you want? to get bones with me, Moriarty? Do you want to get my Rose, bones? Rose would be explicitly inviting Moriarty to come along. Yeah, if it's just Timber telling him, I'm not interested, but hey, if it's for Rosalia, uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Through love. You're freaking Twitter-pated. What? You're Twitter-pated. <laughs> Twitter-pated? Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell me you haven't seen Bambi either? Oh, yeah, that. My god, it's been so long since I've heard that term used in that context. I don't <laughs> get this reference. It's Bambi. Rank up. Hold the line. You need to watch after this the mother gets shot. Not fall. I thought it was, was only just that. Was Team Royal raided my stream with five viewers? Hoot hoot owl raid. The, the the movie is only 30 seconds. It's just the hunter kills the thing and then the, the credits roll. Yeah, you know, roll happy credits. ending. The hunter it's, won. It's like a YouTube shit post. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what the that's the wool that's the woven cut. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. your stream thank you for the read everybody make sure you go check out my really good friend Wostein. he is an amazing individual very much worth checking out very much worth uh visiting and hanging out with he is awesome Zawa. we are doing pathfinder friend? right now he is our friend he is hoot friend he is feather flu friend I will say though, real quick, I can't fucking believe it. Bambi is over 80 years old. What? Go curl up and dry now. I'm, I'm gonna go curl up and die. I'm a dinosaur. Bambi's from 1942. It's over 80 years old. And Dumbo is almost a hundred. Pink elephants on parade. <laughs> I just like um, that the the woven cut is literally just hunt off sees deer, shoots deer, walls credits, the woven oh, and right. still don't cheer. Yeah, <laughs> best movie <laughs> of the year. <laughs> yeah, Secret of Nim is forty one. Yeah, so is Dumbo movie. But Anyways. yeah, 
back on track. Yeah, uh, you know, there's a everyone's getting together except for the twins to go and uh, check out Adrix Rest yet again. So uh, why are why and how are we getting these bones? It's more than just bones. There's a lot of things there that can still be looted. We were kind of in a hurry before. Oh, we're going back to the place that we were at before? Yes. Where we killed the folks? Yes. Sounds like a wonderful time. Well, I mean... If you really don't want to go on an adventure with us... I didn't say that. There it is. Don't you mind, Moriarty? Yeah, I just imagine Tibble pulling the cart and Moriarty. He's just there with his little his his instrument going off. Uh. All right, Temple will give the order to Buddhist to, uh, you know, defend this boat. And uh, if the twins come back, just tell them that we started going in that direction. To Adrian. All right, Lord. and you get a soul. And uh, let's see. Yep, left foot, right foot. Repeat. All right. So you guys have, uh, you know, rations, water, all that good stuff, as well as plenty of space to get your um, the loot that you're searching. For the for most of the trip, if not all of the trip, Rose will be flying overhead, getting practice in, both in her own flight and in commanding the rat swarm. All right. That is. Perfectly acceptable. Squeak squadron left. Cheese squadron right. We're going in. Yeah, Master's presence is a bit of a bitch, considering that I'm seeing through a uh, hundred eyes at once. Well, you can you elect to see through. Oh, okay. But see, I, I thought I was forced to have all of their perceptions when it's active. No. Now you know how, now you know how a fly feels. <laughs> uh no 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 so uh with master's presence uh you have to concentrate as a full round action in order to perceive you know through the otherwise it's just wordless commands otherwise uh you can do basic commands as free uh, you can do uh, complex commands, uh, you know, as a trick using handle animal. Well, it seems like Rosilia has... Uh... Is having all fun. Yep. And uh, you guys, after, you know, a couple hours of travel, uh, aided very much by uh, Timber's constant horse march. This hamlet shall not fall. Fauna offloraded my stream with three viewers. Fauna, Flora, thank you very much for that raid. Welcome in. You guys have come into the middle of our Ascent to Ascend Pathfinder game. Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Everyone, do share the love and go check out Fauna, Flora, please. I hope you had a great stream. I'll be in the chat. Carry on. 
But yeah, uh, you guys are able to make pretty good time due to Timber uh, habitually just being able to pull a forced march and carry the entire cart behind him. So you aren't, uh, you're able to make it there in just a couple of hours. So by the time you get there, it's, uh, starting to get a, like, you know, pretty, it's starting to get close to nighttime. So if you want, you could either, uh, try and camp out until it's morning or just go ahead anyways and try and loot the town. Thankfully for you, nothing uh, nothing untoward happens along the way. It was just, you know, some regular old travel. Uh, well, if and when the uh, party comes to a stop, Rose will be landing to uh, uh, discuss things. All right. Uh, Timbo will yell up at Woes as soon as he sees all starting to land. Circle around! A couple times, make sure it's clear! Alright, um, she will focus on, uh, Master's Presence, and take uh -huh. a circling pattern, scanning the ground using, uh, um, wow, I keep blanking on the name. Svethen. Uh, Sve Thorn's uh, eyes. All right, uh, go ahead and roll me that perception check. I'm burning a point of fortune. All right. I mean, 19 is still pretty good. No, I must see everything. There's I think yeah, there's a, a turn of fortune. Better. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? <laughs> yeah, 34 is just a little bit better than 19. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. All the Big same thing to Timber. Yeah. It's all imaginary numbers to him. Yeah. It's calculus. It's just made up of mathematicians to sell more numbers. <laughs> Math isn't real. But yeah, so you don't see anything too much of note. Um, the only interesting thing that you really find when circling around is just that off in the distance, even though it's been a couple days and there's been a little bit of rain since then, you can still see the black scorch mark left on the on the ground over the, the mass corpse fire thing that uh, happened. You know, where they stacked up all those dead bodies and started burning yeah. the match. Which is definitely going to be worth poking through because you, 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 there are certain things that are fireproof. So, Rose, how many coins are you going to lose to the pile? Oh, fuck that noise. I assume they already did last rites. I'm only, you know, morally obligated to do it for those that we personally kill. To be fair, if it's the burnt corpse pile, there's basically nothing left but bone remnants and ash and char. There's nothing to do but say a prayer and that's it. <laughs> so weird that you pray for heretics. I so am weird a that you don't. Why'd I support wrote... the enemy? After uh, circling around and all that she sees is the pile of ash and that's about it, she'll be landing and reporting that. I guess Timber will mosey on up to the pile, you know, put the cart down, do a little stretch, <laughs> let everyone dismount, and he's just doing that whole big, big steppy uppy downy and like taunting 
Moriarty shall T pose and uh, walk forward without any frames of animation, so he's gliding. <laughs> Buddha, shoot this man! Oh wait, no, Buddha isn't here. The devil draws his sword. <laughs> I knew it! Demonic possession! <laughs> now, Timber, be careful with that sword around here. It has a lot of power. Does it? It's Adric's sword. Adric's sword at Adric's rest. Oh shit! Yes. Just as a reminder, though, this is the Pilgrim's Town named after, like, you know, pilgrim, like as a nearby pilgrimage site. Uh, the place you'd have to be more concerned about the connotation is at the Tomb of Adric. Yeah. Which we're planning on going to next. Didn't we already beat the shit out of him? Yeah, but maybe he left some heresy behind. Timber, what do you, what do you think heresy is? Anything not the Kaiser one. Anything he doesn't understand. <laughs> They're both are good answers, I suppose. Anything that opposes the Imperium. Hmm. Anything, period. Actually, um, Tim, I have what an do you idea. Think is heresy? Yes. <laughs> I, I have an idea <laughs> for what the Ash it? Pile. Rose yep. is going to just uh, stand at the edge and uh, start flapping the wings to uh, basically act like a leaf blower to blow ashes away and uh, hopefully reveal anything that might be buried underneath them. All right. Um, so after doing that, uh, you can see like bone fragment remnants where like obviously like the bones survive the fire but they're, like, you know, really blackened and in places, like, you know, broken. Just from the so, it, it's more like a loose collection of partial bones. But it doesn't look like there's any, like, useful bits of gear, enchanted items, or anything like that that got left over. No, um, it would be a reasonable assumption that all of that got stripped off of the bodies before they were burned. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes people miss stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's always fair, but uh, the HKO is generally very rigorous with that sort of thing because um, that has that specific thing of uh, not finding all the enchanted shit has bitten them in the ass very hard uh, before when, you know, uh, a, a small trinket got left behind and it turned out that that was like, you know, either a cursed artifact or was like a control artifact or something like that. So at this point, they like, you know, straight up full inspect the bodies for anything. Yeah. Any sort so, of intel you know that, would be yeah. valuable. So, so funny story, true story. You know that uh, simple looking gold ring that we left behind? Turns out there was a hobbit involved. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this weird little crinkly guy who got his hands on it. And then he started giving riddles. Before he could finish the riddle, Temple just outright modeled him because he thought he was speaking in tongues. <laughs> Timber, the, the answer to the riddle was an egg. The answer to the riddle was die! <laughs> All right. But yeah, that's um the only thing they're really able to find is just remnant bone fragments. Maybe if you like really got in, you might find like, you know, uh, uh an item or two that somehow got missed, but it was a large pile and you're seeing a lot of bone and ash. I think they were pretty efficient at picking through this. You can go through the town or just keep marching on. I'm fine with going through the town. There's all sorts of stuff that, yeah. that uh, can uh, get left behind.
Ooh, actually. Uh, can I disperse the rat swarm in like a search pattern? Um, you know what? Uh, in most circumstances, no, but this is just kind of like a generalized search operation, so I'll let you do it just to save time on like rolling and shit. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have the uh, disperse the rat swarm with the simple trick instruct. Oh, trick, so complex instruction, I guess. Um, if you find anything shiny, bring it back. If it's if it's uh, if, if it's polished, if it's gemstones, if it's uh, glow in the dark, anything like that. Well, while All we right. do that, Tibble's gonna sit on the call and like cool his heels. <laughs> I can't believe Rosalia just cast Find the Shiny. Find <laughs> the Shiny. Find my push. Find the halfling. Find it's my It's time to barbarian raid this place. Oh, wait. The rats are already doing that. Doesn't mean that Gar can't lead them like the Pied Piper. <laughs> my ancestors are going to be so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, technically, the ancestors would be worshippers of the Mashtu. So him having a swarm of mutant undead rats following him around, following him around. They'd be upset that he's friends with Timber. <laughs> no, no, Timber, you're a monster in your own way. Only to monsters. <laughs> So, on the list of things that is brought back by your swarm, uh, you have things such as an oil of blessed weapon, which is, uh, you know, it's an oil that imparts blessed weapon. Uh, it was brought Are black because it's blue and shiny. Oh, it's still useful. Um, Are you, are you getting this to the party sheet? Uh, I will be in a second. All right. Um, but I, I want to like actually like you know go through like the actual like important shit that they found instead of like just yeah. going yeah you know here here's a uh, glittery rock number twenty seven. Here's a bent yeah. nail. I mean, in the in the case in the uh, interest of being thorough, she would have the uh, the what constitutes treasure list be very broad because you know the rat's kind of stupid. It might go right past a very valuable piece of jewelry just because it has some ash and dirt on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you do get a lot of rocks. You figure some of them might be, like, you know, a little bit valuable, but not, like, the sort of gemstones that you got from the prince where it's like, ah, yes, this is, like, a 50 gold gemstone. It's like, hey, I might be able to pawn this for some silver. So, if you want to keep those, um, there, there are a few of those that you got. Um, but other than, other than that, other than that, uh, you mostly just get shards of um, weaponry. Rose would be giving the uh, oil plus weapon to Timber. I feel like yeah. he could get the most use out of that. I mean, well, to be fair... To someone who can't bless a weapon. It's not like they're to really wasting any time looking for, or, you know, having that stuff brought back, because it's a swarm of rats. But they just, you know, they're making them do the work. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we've already made camp while the rats are doing the work. <laughs> Yeah, this is just like the shit that's being brought back. Um, Actually, wait, Timber, can you bless your own weapon? What do you think smiting is? Well, if that's the case, no, I, can, it, I, thought, yeah, I would give it to Moriarty then. Can 
He can do it technically. It's on his list. Yeah. Well, it's on Paladin list. I don't know if he specifically took it. I took it. Then, then yeah. actually, actually, Rose would be giving it to Moriarty. Because uh, there's always that possibility that he'd be up against something that only magic weapons work on. He has a magic weapon, though. Yeah, he has a he has a magic weapon, a plus one. Yeah, plus well, one you know what? Yeah. It's a ro her giving him the treasure that she found. That that counts as romance. So you can shut up. <laughs> oh no, no, okay. So the uh, oil of oh. blessed weapon. It's an he... oil. You put it on the weapon, and it gives you blessed weapon for duration. Cool. I hope I don't yeah. drink this. You definitely mm -hmm. should never question whether uh, Timber's got a thing to bless weapons. Never forget the bucket. <laughs> Can I apply this to a new barrel of oil and get a new, th get a new thing of holy water? No. Um, so, just to go over what this does is that it has a plus one enhancement for bypassing DR of evil creatures or striking evil incorporeal things. Um, it becomes good aligned, which means it bypasses DR of certain creatures. And um, all critical hit rolls against evil foes are automatically successful. So if you roll a crit, you don't have to roll the confirm. <laughs> you just straight up auto confirm. But for one minute per level, I'm looking at. I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, so that means that that could last for an entire engagement. Sacred it could. Oils. Sounds actually pretty good. Yeah, it is. It is actually pretty good. Uh, that's like the the only like big important thing that they found that was shiny and blue that's still left over. Um, there's other things that they found, like uh, you know, you you get like a handful of like burnt out daggers where like you know the handle's gone but like the 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 blade and tang are all there that's still high quality tool steel so she'll be keeping that yeah so there, there's like useful stuff blacksmith. like that yeah there's useful stuff like that but not really much in terms of like wholesale functional items that you're being handed the only important one was the oil of blessed weapon all right they found that in the church for obvious reasons. Not a, not a whole lot of goodies, but still some stuff. And she will be keeping the shiniest of the rocks to give to the Martins later. All right. Uh, the shiniest of the rocks has a curious blue spark to it. Like if you move it back and forth, it, it has like a, a blue sparkle thing that happens. All right. So, as for everyone else, um, I guess my biggest question is who's on watch. I'll take I'll take force watch. All right. So we got Timber first. Then Gar. Then Gar. How many how many rotations of watch do we need to cover the whole thing? Oh, it depends how long you want each watch to be. I mean, you got four people. We could do one together. That was actually what I was thinking. Because Rose is actually taking this seriously. She's giving this a shot. Okay, so uh, you guys should definitely make sure that you've got another person on watch. Because those two are definitely not watching. Oh, oh my we'll god. Be watching something, all right. When you That's make it as easy as started. this, I'm going to make comments. <laughs> to be fair, that yeah, that was like really low hanging fruit. Yeah. Can and the Mark can find find a and in 71 it, shared with 100 eggy bitties, whatever you do. Keep the blue gem away from Timber. 
He might evolve. Is there going to be more? So you're saying something, Zim? I was, I was just commenting to Canis's biddies. He might evolve. E. And thank you for those. Is there biddies. going to be more intense romantic roleplay between Moriarty and Rosalia over the night? <laughs> I think let's gloss over that. Well, I don't oh no, know. I am very interested to hear what's going to happen. I mean, I'm sure like, like all of these marriage and mating rituals like in his head now. I mean, no, you know, and, and he's not even here to use it. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sure the chat wants to hear. I don't I'm sure know they do. Talking about when I was. Hey, I'm curious mate. to see how things go. I loved it when we were on watch duty together. Nothing, yeah, romantic, like, nothing more romantic than searching for the enemy right next to the person that you care about and tolerate. All right. So uh, all of you roll me perception checks for your watch. Or something. Oh, that wait, no, that count. was Moriarty. That, that, that was Moriarty I was checking. Let me try again. Wait, what, what, what are you checking for? <laughs> slide of hand, it was. <laughs> what are you slide of handing there? <laughs> hey, 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 easy. We're supposed to be on watch. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time to talk about good and evil aligned people doing unprotected charisma checks against each other. <laughs> You may want to consider using protection from good and protection from evil in order to avoid these these uh, these charisma checks. From I get plus two. Influencing. I get plus two. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll go do my perception check. Yeah, I was just being funny. By the way, I bombed my perception roll. But actually, you know what? Fuck I it. I'll roll. I'll run. For, I'll roll. I'll use fortune on that because, um, I mean, we're getting a long rest, anyways. It got worse. Right. The only person that we'd see out here is mid boss. So are you? Uh, are you keeping that one? Wait, I can do it again. I mean, you still have, like, what, one fortune point left? So. All right, well, if I can burn two of them back to back, then fuck it, I'll burn the third one. You do got to tab back in. You're not technically okay. supposed to be able to, but I, I honestly don't care right now. In combat, I would care. This is just, you know. Again, okay, apparently. Stuff. No, no, straight up. Rose is very distracted by Moriarty right now. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What kind of like I said, we need to have a third person. Uh, Gar, you were going second, right? Yeah. All right. So it's Timber, Gar, and then the Lovebirds. Uh, Gar. During your watch, um, you do see a very interesting thing that uh, you feel is not normal. Um, namely, that there has been a bird on uh, a branch of one of like the very few sparse like trees that are around, and you feel like it's been looking at you like for your entire watch. Okay, I will try to identify the type of bird with knowledge nature. All right. Um, this may seem a bit stereotypical, given that you're, uh, you know, your recent opponents, but you're pretty sure that that's a crow. Uh, storyteller, when Tibble beds down, he's gonna cast a spell so he can use Bed of Iron. Alright. <laughs> Pass it, just as the... 
the stereotypical dead man corpse, you know, just dead in his armor. Yeah. Flop. <laughs> Snore. Hey, Rose, I have something for you to check out. What is it? A crow. It's been Eat watching it. this whole time. Rats, go eat it. I'm sorry, are you sending rats to eat a crow? If it, it'll make Gar feel more comfortable. You're sending he rats to kill it. a sky rat? They have wings. I put wings on them. Look, holding up one of the rats. It's a oh. bat rat. A brat. Brat? Yeah. Nice. Why do you put wings on everything? Because I have discovered the magic of flight, and that, damn it, I'm never walking the ground again. Can I have wings? Oh. I could, I could pursue some options, yes. I'd prefer something like your crab. I'm not sure I'd like them drafted on. You'd go fun. <laughs> Yeah, so you're sending the rats out, right? I'm sending the rats after the crow. <laughs> if there is anything nefarious going on, I'm pretty sure whoever's in charge of the crow will uh, jump out and say something. All right. Well, uh, they definitely are... Uh, you made these fast rats, right? Yep, they are all fast zombies with the uh, wings, advanced fleshcraft ability. Yeah, so uh, they easily manage to chase down the crow and kill. Them. Thank you. So, anyways, um, about giving you wings. Have you given thought to what style? Because, you know, you've got your reptilian type, you've got your mammalian type, then you've got your avians. I think that there I are do a few tend insects. to enjoy feathers. And I should state that, you know, going after a crow like that could be disrespectful to death itself. At least in my culture. Staring is disrespectful. You would know you've been staring at him all night. You aren't here. <laughs> all right. Not really collective uh, anymore. Yeah. Uh, Gar, you can go ahead and give me another perception check if you want. Okay. Yes, uh, Axie 360, uh, mammalian type wings, as in bats or flying squirrel. 20 altogether. Well, you just saw the other crow get killed, but now there's a new crow sitting on the same branch in the same spot. Find you <laughs> up with the crow. What do you want? Uh, what were you, could you repeat that real quick? Going to go up to the crow. What do you want? Yeah. Well, it's, it's on like a branch, like halfway up the tree. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yell up. What do you want? Yeah. Um. Well, its head is definitely tracking you, but it doesn't seem to, like, respond. Okay, going to toss up the grappling hook at it. All right. Are you trying to like get to the branch next to it, or are you trying to like just actually hit it with a grappling hook? The branch next to it. All right, just shake it. Um. Uh, just so you know, like, the grappling hook is a, um, it, it counts as a ranged weapon, so you'd make a ranged attack roll. Yep. 
Wait, are you legit trying to hit the crow with a grappling hook? No, he's trying yeah, to get to the to branch. Go. It's just that he has to roll in order to see if he can grapple the branch. If you want, I can eat this security camera too. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tibble's just sawing logs. All right. Uh, you do feel the grappling hook kind of, like, catch on the branch, but you're not exactly, like, you know, if you do, like, a tug, you're not exactly convinced that the branch can hold your weight. So I'll just try to shake the branch for it to lose balance. All right. I'll go ahead and make a reflex then. It seems completely unfazed and it's just kind of still sitting on the branch. Okay. Pull the branch down. All right. Make me a strength check. It's almost All right, bad. Yeah, the, <laughs> um, as the branch like snaps and cracks and comes down, uh, the bird finally reacts by moving to the next branch that is just barely above it. <laughs> Boards aren't real. Yeah, this one's a clearly government a government drones. drone. Yeah, this oh, is a government yeah. spy drone. I'll go back to the normal watch and let Rose know another one showed up after the rats took care of the first one. When she comes to I will, watch. I will send the rats after it again. But this time, they I will I have the instruction for them to attempt to recover it alive. You know, this reminds me of a song. All right. But the cat came back the very next day. That one. No, that that one. It's actually a song about crows. You might like it. Well, go on and sing for me, Bard. Do I have permission from the showrunner to sing? <laughs> I had to step away for a moment, but yes, go for it. <clears throat> I, I had set up that tone of voice and everything specifically to bait Zim, and he didn't even tease <clears throat> He's, he's aware right now. Yep. As I was a walking all alone, I saw two Corby's making moans. And to them too, the other did say, oh. Where shall we gang and dine today? Oh, where shall we gang and dine today? It's on behind yon low foul dyke. I hear there lies a new slain knight. And nobody knows that he lies there, oh. But his hawk and his hound and his lady fair, oh, hawk and his hound and his lady fair. Well, his hawk is taken to hunting game. His hound it fetches the wild fowl hain. His lady's taken another mate, oh. So that we may eat our dinner sweet, oh, we may eat our dinner sweet, oh. Well, you peck out his bunny blue eye, and I'll take a lock of his golden hair. And wherever it grows bare, oh, we'll make our nest where it grows bare, oh, make our nest where it grows bare. As I was a walking all the lane, 
I spy two corbies making moans. And to them too, the other did say, oh, where shall we gang and dine today, oh, where shall we gang and dine today? You're really good at that. You should sing more often. Oh, I'm, I'm a bard. I sing plenty. Yeah. Normally at taverns. And cue a very dead crow being dropped in front of Rose. Guys, you tell I said alive. alive. I did. They're just really eager. They, they have brains well, the size of walnuts. Oh, motherfucker, if it's fake. It's a <laughs> um, in your expert medical opinion, this shit's been dead for at least a week. Oh, undead. Somebody is using undead crows to surveil us right now. Huh. It's easier than scrying. And lower profile, if you don't notice the bird. Interesting. Which means whoever's doing it is sloppy. Or they don't care if we notice them. And we know that there's I... some controller of the undead. Hopefully not some god like Morgan. I'm going to uh, hold the bird gentle like hamburger and check to see if it's still animated. Uh, it, it is absolutely the fuck not right. <laughs> so they, they they terminated the connection when it, when the bird was captured then. I can't trace the call. <laughs> the call is coming from Please within the graveyard. Please try calling again later. Is there another crow there? Uh, take a guess. <laughs> we do yes. have a trap card that was played. A trap card. Hmm. You don't play a trap card. You play a card face down. It's my <laughs> trap card. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, there is another one there. Speaking of traps and around undead, and Moriarty, you are wearing that necklace, right? I. <laughs> if any corpse bombs go off. <laughs> Do you want me to take it off? No. <laughs> hey, you'll heal from a corpse bomb. Oh, okay. No, of course she doesn't want you to take it off. This, this is, is so the dankest dungeon. Orca commander tipped five dollars. <laughs> Toss a coin to ye bard. She absolutely <laughs> loves your bones. Damn. <laughs> What? He's undead! <laughs> also, Orca, Super thank you so back. much for that extra tip. I really appreciate it. Just the tip for Rose. Oh my do god. Think, do you think there are certain <laughs> skeletons that have the extra bone? Only the intelligent undead. But it requires a certain anatomy because not everything has that bone. Alright, we'll move on from this subject. Let's get back to things. I know the bone you're referring to, and I'd rather not discuss it. <laughs> Unromantic snoring. Welcome to the Hamlet. Hey, Rose, it's your turn for watch. Oh, my talk of bones got another follower. Oh my god. Uh, Moriarty, will you be joining me? For the Night Watch? Yes. Yeah, I suppose I will be. It's weird how I don't feel that much tired anymore. Um, undead. I know, but it's weird. 
Yeah, I know. I've been having to deal with those sensations ever since we arrived in this place. Do you not really like them or do you like them? It's a mixed bag. Fair enough. I like being I like being immune to frostbite. I don't like not being able to tell when I'm tired. I I like Wait. being able. Do we still oh. actually get tired? I do. I just uh, have a harder time noticing it. Huh. I'll be careful then. I still enjoy sleeping. Well, that, um, I think that the technical term, if you're considered undead right now, would be slumbering. I don't know. I prefer the term brooding. Yeah, well, I'm not oh, going to talk about any broods right just, now. Uh, what's that thing where you just <laughs> vertically ascend from your heels out of a casket like a vampire? Is, is there a term for that? Edgy. Rising? Ah, cool. <laughs> is there a term for that edgy <laughs> yeah uh, yeah of course heresy <laughs> that, that, that one you can smite yeah timber that one you can smite a fixed bayonets equip bayonets Was Timber just like yelling out orders in his sleep? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, 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 between 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 Timber's excessively loud snoring is an occasional oral. I like to imagine that even though Timber is here and the other Wolven are back on the ship, they are still following his orders in their sleep. It's like when twins dream. Who says they're sleeping for the night? They have patrols to do. So does Ali. Yes. Is there a thing I can do about the teeth thing? It's, it's an instinctual thing. It's something I ha would have to overcome. So exposure you, you could get it. You could get a file and, you know, shave them down. Grind them down. I'm not going to do that. They're I need not to eat. here right now. <laughs> I'm not talking Good night, with the Martin's Drago voice. Maestro, wherever you are. <laughs> God damn it, Wostein. Wistein says the uh, maneuver of a vampire rising out of a casket like that is called a powerful pivotal moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, well, it's a very powerful pivot. Those are some serious ankles going on, man. He, does, he, he <laughs> obviously doesn't out. skip leg day. He's had a thousand well, I mean, years to train. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if you don't have kilo legs and, and 10,000 years, just walk out under the sunlight. Also, um, right. As I was going to say, though, in character is Moriarty. Does that does that mean you want like exposure therapy? Should I just smile a lot? Eh. Look, what Moriarty? All the anatomical horrors of the world. I'm. I've been slowly becoming numbed. That's not that big of a. Deal. The biggest part is that. Well, as you said before, I was pushing everything away because I've been seeing my current status as deeply cursed. But and Gar much. made a few interesting observations. Gar made a few interesting observations that, uh, well, quite frankly, I think I might have been taking what was supposed to be a mixed blessing. And I was only looking at the cursed side of it. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of thinking about that. 
and combine that with... Oh, fuck. Headset just reconnected. I don't know if I dropped anything right there. Speaking of teeth, there's basically a bear trap right over there. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Tanya, you there? I see my icon turning green on the I screen. I can hear you. <laughs> You're good. Don't listen to the voices that are not there. By the way, Gar, what were you trying to intimidate? Nothing. Okay, well, good, because you rolled a nat one, so. <laughs> he intimidates in his sleep. But he's too cute. <laughs> but he's too cute! <laughs> I was just going to say that. He's just the most precious little bean right that, now. I, that hesitation <laughs> was because I was waiting for you to say that. Oh, fuck. Um, I was just throwing the dice, and I hit the dice tower. I've been actively rejecting Hades ever since I got slapped with the collar. But a realization I came to shortly after my discussion with the car is that the collar just so happened to show up immediately after my antler got broken. As soon as I lost one ability to use my magic, I was immediately given a new one by my god. What I originally interpreted as a curse and a sign of ownership really was actually a mercy. Still, there are better things he could have picked. It Less was Hades showing things. her that he thinks she's a very good girl. Shut the fuck up, no. Less kinky things, I agree. Go I'll slap away. both of you. Voices that aren't there. Allow me to be the edgy necromancer. Damn. <laughs> Goth girl, GF necromancer. Stay in your lane. Yeah, what, whatever you do, whatever you do, do not dump a necromancer. <laughs> you will regret it in the next life. So you've been taking a more positive outlook on things. That's good to hear. I've been trying, yes. And again, I feel like there are uh, better options available than a, than a collar, but it does the job. I can't deny that. Are you rolling? Oh, are you just now noticing? I've been noticing been it. I've just it's just been going on consistently and I'm like, what's going on? As time ticks by, he's rolling for encounters, I believe. Oh, um well what I've been rolling for is the fact that the um tree that the that the crows have been in has been slowly filling up with more crows. You never asked me to make a perception check. I told you that there were more that was a, that there was another crow there. You guys have just been having your conversation. Okay. Four strength. Uh, second rank. Fire. <laughs> Off in the I distance you know from the I'm, ship. I'm Bang! You know what? I'm suddenly curious about something. What's she's that? going to she's going to as quietly as she can. I mean, hooves, but dirt too. So, um, as quietly as she can, go over to timber. She's going to uh, cut open her hand just a little bit and waft the the scent of her blood right under his nose, just to see how he reacts. Uh, Tipple's gonna <laughs> wake up and like. Probably not even wake up and just like chomp at it. Well, that confirms that. He wasn't lying before when he said I smell delicious. Morning, Timber. He's I I don't think he's a no, he's not awake. You get more oh, honesty okay. out of a man when he's asleep. Weird. <laughs> That's such a visceral reaction. Yeah, the it's almost as if you know carnivores tend to be predatory. 
Listen, I under I can understand if something like Timber reacted like that. He's basically just a giant wolf that walks on two legs. I've never had urges to, you know, kill something with my teeth and claws. That is a very astute observation, Fox, that walks on two legs. She's saying this with a smug grin, by the way. Listen, although I am very fox-like, I find myself relating to humans more than I do to wolves. Okay, fuzzy ape. Kill people. <laughs> no stuff. <laughs> Kill people. Timber is no Tim, Timber's just very one note, isn't he? He's only got one note, but damn it plays for a long time. <laughs> I'm just gonna casually Do I notice them that there are more crows now? Oh absolutely. So it looks like we might get murdered. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of birds. One might call it a murder. Yes, a murder of crows. That is the correct term. Does, the, does Temple's favorite world wake him up? <laughs> I quit <laughs> the violence. That's, that, that's a timber question. Does it? Well, let's see. He tastes blood. I'll do a perception with a negative two because he's kind of deaf. Hey, does Ghost Strike consume any spell points for me? Uh, unless, his... well, it depends on the Ghost Strike you use. There are Ghost Strikes that do consume uh, spell points. They'll be listed. Uh... You have spells that cover an area. Because most of what I have is targeted. <laughs> okay, so Boon Rattle does cons consume a spell point, I believe. Well, there's a furry version and a spell point version. Oh, well, um... I'm just going to cast the uh, free version of Bone Rattle on one of the crows. Alright, uh, what range do you have? Just out of curiosity... Uh, I don't know where to look up the range for this. Go straight. Um, oh, 110 plus caster level times 10. So currently 170. No, it should be 180. Right. Then I I forgot to update this when we leveled up. So the range on it is yes. All right. So, uh, should I roll for the bone rattle? Uh, go right ahead. You're doing the free version, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, so for the free version of Bone Rattle, is there a save that I still have to make, or is that just... Because I don't have it up right now, and I don't remember off the top of my head. You may make a ghost strike that painfully contorts the target skeleton next to the body. The target suffers 1d6 plus 1d6 per three caster levels. So that's uh, 3d6 for me. Yep. And it was 5 feet plus 5 feet per 10 cash levels into an unoccupied space of your choice, but I'm not adding any movement to this because I feel like 3d6 against a bird is going to just make it pop. Alright, and does it say partial damage? Yeah, fortitude partial. Half damage and no forced movement. 
So since they're undead, there's no fortitude, so it'll cut my number in half. Uh, what's the DC? I do not see the DC listed. Uh, it'd be your caster thing where, um, you know, for all your stuff. Uh, you just hear Timbo goggling because he's, his mouth is all saliva now. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the blood, you know? <laughs> Leaving, I get a plus eight on this. That's what it says for the attack, so. Here, I'll just dump this in here. And get a nat 20. There you go. Oh, that a two. So, you, you hit, but you're not confirming. I wasn't going to make you roll because it wasn't, uh, like, attempting to evade at all. But, hey, yeah, you almost crit, so there's that. But I don't, um, I can't find my save, DC. I don't know where I'm looking. Uh, let me check your sheet, because I know we figured this out before. I don't know if you remembered to write it down, though. Because I'm stupid. That's hey, my job. according to the closed captioning, apparently we can finance a new CNN. Mm. <laughs> wow, <laughs> their stock really we did get to. cheap, didn't it? I think their stock was <laughs> the old CNN. Damn. Damn, we'd still be overpaying, too. <laughs> I've got uh, two Mentos and a gum wrapper. Is that enough? <laughs> Welcome to KNN Casual News Network, where we tell you the truth at every moment of the day. <laughs> yeah, the the government truth, true. The imperial truth. The official truth. So, standing Ideas throw is so good, blast. they have to be mandatory. <laughs> uh, DC for saving throw is equal to 10 plus half caster level, so 4, plus caster's casting ability modifier. So six, so DC 20. So they have to beat a DC 20. Yeah, meet or beat. And uh, they did meet it. Exactly 20. So 3D6. Yep, and then we'll have it. Six. Blake Mazelin, okay. <laughs> what? Okay, so there, there's a local lawyer from uh, like around town, and uh, his commercial is four 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 four. Call Blake Mazlin. <laughs> That's the thing. His phone number is all fours. Well, I it's hard to forget. Yeah. Four four four. Four four four. Four four four. Four four four. What comes after four? Lake Mazlin. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. So six damage. That that is still that that is still enough to kill a crow. Yeah, I was gonna say crows of unusual <laughs> adorability. I'm popping the I don't. Pump. I honestly don't think that they exist. Wait, why are you? Why are you? What are you rolling against now? The next one. Oh. I'm just gonna go down the line, popping crows until something happens where I run out of crows to pop. This is yeah, good practice. Um, importantly, though, let me do this real quick. You know, if you keep at this, you're going to get the Crow Lord's ire. They started it. <laughs> okay, but if the uh, Crow Gun comes down here, don't, don't, don't look, don't look to me. I warned you. Well, at least somebody right. would be happy. So. As you kill uh, this one crow, um, 
its body completely disintegrates quite rapidly. And when I say quite rapidly, I mean uh, it causes a small explosion. Another branch joins you uh, down on the ground level. What do you mean branch? Because it's standing on branches and it caused a small explosion. So it's Guard not, it's brought down one branch, branch, so now there's another branch. Okay, you're saying they moved to another branch. No, I the mean another branch, branch just fell the to the ground. Oh, okay. it, the crow, the crow on it exploded. Okay, the explosion broke the branch. I get you now. And Temple sleeping like a baby. Well, whoever it is has upgraded this batch. They have necrotic bombs. Keep your necklace on. No reason to just to bother the others quite yet. Because if whoever it is, if they had malicious intent, they would have done something to buy, by now. There's now another crow on the stump of the branch. Do you have anything no, that's the AOE? one up in the tree? Uh, the one thing that you definitely can what notice is right this now, uh, AOE of which you speak, you're not here. Age of Empires is a all right, uh, but <laughs> Rose, one thing that you uh can definitely notice is that uh, after you killed the one, they're all looking at you right now. Warrior's gonna walk over to the tree. Alright. Warrior is gonna climb up in the tree. Alright. Uh, roll a climb check. Shit, that's right. That's an actual skill in this game. Rose is going to be at the ready with Bone Rattle. There, if, if any make any aggressive moves towards him, she's going to pop them. <laughs> yeah, you ain't climbing shit, buddy. Can I take ten? <laughs> uh, you know what? Okay, so here here's the funny thing about climb in in Pathfinder. Um, you're trying to climb a tree, which is a DC fifteen. Jesus, okay. Can I take 20? <laughs> Doesn't work like that. Well, okay. Technically speaking, uh, sometimes you're able to take 20. But it also takes 20 times as long, so it would be Moriarty just slowly attempting to climb over the next multiple minutes. Technically speaking, you could only take it if there was no, like, penalty for failure, and, well, in this case, fall damage. That's true, but right now he's just kind of trying to get up to, like, the first branches. Yeah. And that's literally not high enough to cause any fall damage. I want to get up to a crow. Man... Down. Don't worry, my love. I've got this. Can I get close to a crow? Uh, you know what? Sure. All right. Moriarty is going to reach his hand out to the crow very cautiously. All right. Uh, it's not reacting to you at all right now. I gently put my hand on the crow's head. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Boom. Yeah, uh, this owned, one explodes as mine. well. Yeah, you own the trip mine. <laughs> this one also explodes as well. Um, but it feels a lot. Uh, it, it feel it feels very different. So this one. Very specifically, let's see where it, if it actually 
does the thing. Yeah, it does the thing. Cool. Uh, this is used as a um, as a different thing. It's not an explosion that takes out the branch. Instead, this is an explosion that, like, you know, it's just like pure necromantic energy rushing out. But very interestingly is that it still affects you. So I'm going to need a fortitude save. Oh, no. no. We're dealing with a necros. No, I think oh, I think yes! All right, yep, you do save, which, uh, you know, halves it. So, you are going to take, for me, seven damage. How long Damn. was that explosion? No, so this didn't affect the surroundings. This just affected Moriarty. No, no, no explosion? Well, I mean, it, it, like, the bird exploded with, like, a rush of necromantic energy, but it did not, in fact, um, you know... It was less of a pop and more of a yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, there, there was no pressure to this explosion. It was just magic. All right, the Moriarty just pulls his hand away. Goes fuck out. Actually hurt. Yes, surprisingly, despite the fact necrotic... that I can tell that that was necromantic. Yes, that was necrotic bomb that just went off. No, yeah, that still it... fucking hurt. Oh. Which means we're deal we're dealing with someone who can create enhanced undead. Uh, Rose, please roll a knowledge arcana for me. Do 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 do. Ba, ba, da, ba, da. Ow. All right. So you also remember that <laughs> that from your book that you had read, where. It was, you know, going over, you know, all the things that you could be and going, no, 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 that doesn't quite fit. Uh, you remember that there was actually a handful of uh, of classes and abilities and such that would allow an effect similar to Necrotic Bomb, but it does not necessarily require a Necros. Oh, yeah. And when I was relaying it to Moriarty, I said specifically someone who can create advanced undead, because I had mentally realized that, yeah, it was more than just, um... Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I am just letting you know, though, that there, um, are mul there, there's ways to do this stuff with only using Death Sphere. Alright, screw this. Moriarty, get out of the tree. Kick the Billy, bucket. on me. <laughs> I was already on it. And he's gonna get out of the tree. Alright, Billy. Mow him down. This is gonna have him just fire over and over and over again to pop each of the crows in succession. Alright. Just imagine he's sitting there like, <laughs> rattle him, boy. <laughs> rattle All right, Sim, please give me a, a ranged piercing crit card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't know if that's for if that's for Rosalia or if that's for us. I do need to know that. Chicken noises. Oh uh, no! Th this this is Billy shooting one of them. <laughs> okay, so. Deck for players, got it. He's like a uh, dead eye or something. But don't. Target practice. Hey. Maximum damage and any enemy of the target within range may make an attack of opportunity with advantage against it. All right. So, cool. Uh, Billy absolutely fucking nails one the moment that you say that. Uh, to the point where, like, you know, you're pretty sure you saw it actually go through the crow's eye. Uh, 
On the other hand, uh, Moriarty, uh, you notice that another crow is now back onto the branch next to you. Oh no, I'm now having flashbacks to the depleted uranium signet ring. I thought I was getting off the tree. Uh, did you say that? Or Yeah, yeah I yeah, explicitly told him to okay, get okay. out of the tree first. In, in that case, where Moriarty was. Cool, cool. They'll run out of um, birds to animate eventually. And also, very interestingly about this one, is that uh, this one is quite visibly glowing with, like, a sickly necromantic energy instead of, like, the rest where it was um, on the DL. The new one that arrived? Yeah. Yeah. Kick the bucket. Awaking your sleeping giant. Don't make me get up there and cast fireball. You have that? Yeah, I, I torn into a ball and catch myself on fire and I want it to. <laughs> That's where you take, you make your own Maltov and you throw it. I unfortunately don't have a lantern. See, this is where I really wish that um, uh, uh, Kimo was here, because he could just go, I eat the birds. The entire tree's been wiped clean. Wake up, Temple. He can pick up the tree and knock it over. You just take the tree and push it somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wakes Temple up. Uh, okay, fine. Just walks over a tree, pushes it over, goes back to bed. <laughs> People who are awake, please roll me a perception check. The zone. I'm really trying not to burn any spell points right now because I don't want to negate the long rest. Oh. Okay, I'm look, when like, I say people who are awake, I, I mean like in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just fascinated by the glowy bird that distracted yep. me for a moment because I'm like, what the fuck? Well, no, specifically, you're 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 distracted by like whatever necrobantic stuff it's got going on right now because you're not familiar with it. Meanwhile, Moriarty could swear that uh, he actually did just see that bird like move slightly, unlike the others. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. 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 Hi. <laughs> You're like the sleep ah, chamber. Ah, ah. <laughs> Does the bird notice me calling it? Oh, oh, you're trying to call it the bird. Uh, yeah. Then, yeah. yes, uh, it turns its head and looks at you. Where he does a little wave. Moriarty wiggles his head around. Uh, yeah, I it's de it's you. definitely tracking you right now. Okay. What's your name? No mm -hmm. name? Uh... Moriarty and Rose, uh, if you would be so kind as to quickly roll an initiative. Gotcha. Oh, cool. <laughs> Should I switch to combat music or no? Well, shit. Um, this is more to see if they can outsped the bird. Okay. And they cannot. They cannot. Bird is very speddy. 
And, uh... Which one of you wants to be odds, or which one of you wants to be evens? I like being odd. I've... Okay, I guess I'm even, then. Well, it looks like Moriarty being odd was the correct choice, because it rolled even. Oh, whoa, you've given me a plus five? Oh. You know what? Thank you for that, because uh, this is going to be an interesting thing. Oh, crap. By the way, I, I did roll for Millie. Just so you know. <laughs> and the bird... The, the strange-looking one with the very obvious necromantic energies around it. Goes ahead and takes off like a speeding bullet from the tree and flies right up to Rose. And then there's a very bright flash where in a single moment, all of the necromantic energy inside of it activates. Please make me a very, very important fortitude saving throw. Is she still next to Tibble? I think this is fortitude save. I'm not sure. Yep. 26. Mm. And I have no points of fortune left. <laughs> that is true. Because I was destined to roll low earlier. <laughs> All right. I'm going I'm going to explain this real quick. So as you are sort of wondering, like, if this is going to affect you or not at all, because, you know, you're undead, this sort of stuff isn't supposed to work. You quite feel, you quite, like, specifically feel like the necromantic energy inside of this bird, with whatever it's doing right now, whatever is going on, is... Splitting you in half somehow. And you feel as if part of you gets completely torn in half, even though nothing physically has happened. This bird has just evasculated you. Please remove please take wounds equal to half your max HP. Evasculated? Well, avasculate. Evasculate puts you at one HP. I'm pretty sure a bright flash and maybe whoa, screaming in pain might wake Temple. Oh up. yeah, she most definitely would be uh, screaming from that and fall and probably falling backwards, depending. Is the bird still flying? No, the bird exploded. Okay. And uh, none of the ones that are left right now have the same sort of um, extremely obvious, you know, necromantic magic, necromantic power going on. Already, already, quick! You're right there. Catch Rose before she falls. <laughs> Gonna catch Rose. <laughs> All right, sure. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think I have any necromantic energy. Oh, no, you're... Oh, shit. I just clicked the wrong thing. I almost unfollowed Zim. <laughs> <laughs> I was clicking no. back into the web browser. I don't know. That does look like a heart torn in two. Out of... All the things I imagined them having to fight, I did not imagine them getting killed by a swarm of crows. Like Moriarty said, 
we're gonna get murdered. But no, uh, Rose has just been like, no, it's fine, I got this. And just going to <laughs> aim the chromatic armlet at her own wrist and just fire necrotic energy. All right, please roll damage and take it as healing. Let me just juice up real quick. Oh, I'm literally giving up. myself. A, I'm literally giving myself a stim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, nah, don't don't worry. Rosalie's just burning up. Uh. Do I roll hey. initiative now? Damn bar. Nope. That's. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like Timber. Yeah. Go it's kill those more birds. Damage than that. This is just it, it, it rolled shit damage. How far away is Timber? I assume close. Yeah, Timber's like right there. That did jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tibble wises up and, you know, spends half his movement getting up. Uh, <laughs> for the Kaiser! Uh, kill time! Very specifically, it's murder time. Yeah. <laughs> the, the glowing bird is replaced by a normal bird. I th that's... Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm still pissed off that it rolled that low. I'm just going away... to assume that has to do with what the bird did. How far away is the tree? Oh, the tree is just like a little bit outside the boundaries of the camp. Oh, okay. You just hear Temple yell, For the Kazooid! It starts running over there. There he goes. And then the undead tree blows up. What do you what are you trying to do to the tree? I can't reach the tree, can I? Well, it's a tree. There's a trunk. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, do I have enough movement? I spent half of it standing up. Oh, like I said, uh, the initiative was just to see if any of them could oh. outspeed react the bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, We're not in combat, is... actually, technically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm... Well, you this will was to see if any know. of them could intercept the bird. Uh, oh, okay. I will say that um, Billy was like so fucking close because he rolled a nat 20, but he yeah. needed to get a 21. Ah. Uh. I got a 19. And so uh, yeah, you got a 19. Timbo runs over. He sees them pointing at the tree. Timbo's going to drop his. Uh, his uh, shield and just take both hands and like smite the shit out of this tree. All right. It's. I think they're just gonna move to a different tree. <laughs> hey, Temple doesn't know what's happening. You guys are pointing at the tree. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what's the modifier for smite again? Because it's literally been a month or whatever. Oh, since you've gotten to use it, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So. Four plus, four plus three? Wait, no. Okay, so. When it comes to Paladin and Pathfinder, and their mm -hmm. spike, the way that it works is that you can call out as a swift action that you're going to smite a target. If the oh, yeah. target is evil, you add your charisma bonus to your attack rolls and add your paladin level to all damage rolls made against the target of the smite. Oh, so smite does nothing to a tree. Oh, fine. Tipper's going to power attack the tree. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, power attack. That's negative two, four, plus four. Uh, negative two for plus four. Yep, that sounds right. Yeah. All right uh... Can you smite a true neutral entity? No. Damn. I mean, the twins are immune to smite. I believe so. Uh, yeah, but they have way bigger things to worry about than smite. Like Timber grabbing them and just squishing them in his hand. 
Remember to Martin grab firmly. one of them and wring them out like a towel. They have advantage <laughs> against being grabbed. They do have that. I will say that... I will say, though, uh... Zim also does kind of have to live in fear of basculation if I decide to throw it out like candy, but I'm not, so... Okay. This was specifically because there was a chat thing for a trap. Negative yeah. Two. I'm guessing that's why you made it. Yeah, the evasculation bird was the trap. Which hurt, by the way. How could you do this uh, to me? By the way, go. evasculation is like an actual thing, but obviously I don't want players using it just because it trivializes boss fights. Yeah, no shit. You two-tap anything. Uh, well, actually, because there's also evasculation, which is a feat for evasculation. And okay, it reduces them to one HP. And yeah, that hits. Alright. Damage. Alright, 14 damage. So six seconds has passed? Well, we're not really doing, like, full turn order thing here. Oh, Rose is going to uh, shake the armlet, slap the crystal a couple times, try again. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Go Effect for the, the eyes, tree. boo! Go for the eyes! Moriarty is still Rose! holding Rosalia. Disregard. I, most I, I cannot disregard that. <laughs> what did Wolfstein say? Oh, the influence that he sent. Okay. Effect well, on oh, the tree? Been... Well, I mean, we could potentially roll it back, whoa, if uh, Taldarius allows. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I will allow it just because, like, you know, uh, he was probably literally typing it up before it happened. Yeah. Uh, Which is fair. Yeah, so uh, the, the influence was that uh, your necrotic healing with your armlet is no greater than six per casting for an hour. Okay, Basically uh, limiting me... you to your, your previous healing. I had 14, so... Eight. I still have eight wounds, then. Yeah. Uh, Storyteller? Yes. Effect on the tree? Um, okay, so... This tree is, you know, a solid, like, foot thick. Yeah. You dealt 14 damage, subtract 5 from the five hardness of tree of wood which means you deal nine damage which means you get you chop through um about two inches of tree in your first hit um you know we could say just for flavoring timber yeah. is that uh that the necromatic energy from that bird was absurdly powerful and i default that thing to necromantic just in case i need to uh stib myself an emergency so it just fucking overloaded the circuits it needs time to degauss that's why it's doing right. us uh, no more than six i mean it explains everything is woes and moriarty still up in the tree no well they're no. not up in the tree oh. they're, they're, okay. they're back behind you rose never went into the tree <laughs> <laughs> oh, Moriarty is Rose and Moriarty sitting though. in a tree. K I S S I N G. Okay, so you see Temple, he clashes into the tree, looks down at his sword stuck in there, he grabs the tree, <laughs> <laughs> and he tries lifting. So, uh, strength check? Yeah, sure. Oh man. Table's still waking up. <laughs> Timber, I can't help but feel like if you tear down that tree, the birds will just move to the next one.
Let him be his namesake. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> Timber tries pushing the tree. Alright. Roll me a roll me a strength check. Alright, here we go. Big no balls. Oh. Uh you try shifting Wait. your position. And then uh, some of the dirt, like, underneath you gives out as you, like, get into pushing position and start pushing. Yeah. So you just kind of end up, like, falling to the ground. The dirt has betrayed you. Jimmy, I am pinned here! Pinned here! <laughs> Tip was gonna look up and like look back at uh Brasilia and Moriarty and Gaul. Yo, what the hell's uh, going on? Oh, the birds are exploding. Uh, A necromancer of some kind is fucking with us. They keep sending more crows. They explode. They cost yes. this land. Tip will grabs his sword, <laughs> you know, jokes it out of the tree. Stands back up. And soiled my uniform. Soil it! Soil it! Soil it! Soil it! Temple's pissed. <laughs> he, you know, he, he revolves, grabs his sword, you know, so blades down and he starts trying to climb this tree. <laughs> Guessing that's a strength check. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's still just too dolly. Can't get any grip. You just see Timber like jump up to the tree and do that like hug it and just <laughs> and the bulk comes off. Ugh. <laughs> I think we all got enough rest last night. We could just carry on. I want to know who the hell is sending these crows. Unless you have a way to message through the crows, then we can't. While they're having this conversation, Temple's just trying his best just, just to hack this tree down. <laughs> He's pissed. Unfortunately, my abilities don't allow me to reach out beyond the undead itself. I can I can wrestle control of them away from their master, but I can't find the master's location. Actually, yeah, I'm just rolling ass today. <laughs> well, that um, first one definitely hits. I'm going to command. Um, uh, why do I keep blanking on the name? Uh, right, Stephen Thorne. Chop through another another two inches. I'm going to uh, command Stephen Thorne. Uh, airborne without me, so he has his full movement speed. Yep. And have him start doing a patrol at the edge of control range while flying at peak speed in order to make it harder for anything to try to pursue or to shoot at him. And right. just start scanning for anything moving down below. I'm deploying recon drone. Everyone's <laughs> just going to keep full rounding it. <laughs> All right. I'm slowly but surely going to, like, build up a full sit set of tactical equipment and drones just made out of lumps of flesh and bone. Just wait until I start applying clockwork to, in to it. <laughs> Going necrotech savant without the necrotech. 
one hit? Uh, actually, no. They but they both hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do that. And that. Timber's acting so like that's... this is a hangman's tree. All right, so you've chopped through two, four, nine inches of the tree. You're you're three fourths of the way through the entire tree, after hitting it like half a dozen times. Temple wants this tree dead. Yep, those those both definitely hit. But while he's still hacking away, uh, Rose is doing her meditative. In, uh, control thing. Bonk, bonk. And can't see shit, Captain. All right, uh, Timber, high or low? Hi. That 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 was not a high roll. Um, okay. So, Timber, you do successfully manage to chop down the tree. Okay. Um, the thing was is that you weren't really considering which way the top part of the tree was gonna fall. Oh, there goes the campfire. Once you managed it. Also, good morning, Gar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the, the tree is absolutely, like, after that chop, uh, it, it is absolutely falling towards your camp right now. Uh, Moriarty, you might notice. Uh, D D Moriarty, you might notice that after Rose uh, deployed uh, Seven Thorn, she went into a meditative trance. She does not perceive that the tree is falling right now. Tippo's gonna try to shove the tree the other way. All right, give me um, an emergency strike check then. Yep. Uh, on, Zim is going balls. to come in and. Uh, Drop kick it with his carrier ship? Uh, no. <laughs> you know what? Uh, that was still I'll, one of the most epic I'll maneuvers I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop it. Wham. <laughs> but yeah, so Timber, uh, with that roll, I, I will let you completely halt the momentum of this tree fall. This tree is still heavier than a ton, so it's taking up most of your carry, though. It's like a couple tons. Move! Oh, wait! No! <laughs> Chip was balking at everyone to get out of the way. Because I'm assuming Rose is still at camp. Um... So I can't see, but can I hear around me right now? Well, you can't do... Well, okay, so basically, like, your entire, like, perception is focused around uh, Svethenthorn right now. Okay. But Svethenthorn can definitely still see the tree falling towards the camp and then being stopped by timber. Oh, so that's going to be an interesting <laughs> out-of-body experience, seeing the tree falling towards myself. I'm like, oh, shit! <laughs> Emergency exit. <laughs> yeah, the Rose, pilot eject. Rose, right. you know, shoots back to herself and literally just sees Temple holding the fucking tree up. And then is going to jump out of the way. Temple's Funny go gonna boing. Give, Temple's gonna <laughs> give one look. And then he's gonna do that shove it to the left and jump to the right maneuver. Alright. Uh, give me a strength check. Here we fucking go, boys. I said, here we go. There it goes. Ah, there we go. All right. Yeah, you can you can kind of like barely skirt push it far enough away that like it, it's not going to threaten everyone. And uh, you can jump to the side to avoid like, you know, getting your feet crushed. Tim and then gonna... kaboom go the crows. Oh, the, the crows are all, like, flying up in, like, a mob and finding a different tree. So, 
Um, I, I just ran a little cross-reference between Master's Presence and Flesh Bond. At my current level, uh, Flesh Bond is interesting in that it has no range limit for me, but all that it gives me is vision. I can't control remotely if they're outside of my Dominion range, but it's an infinite range uh, security camera. All right. Uh, thing is, though, I have to have used the Flesh Crafter ability on it, which means, um, even in best case scenario, it only lasts 24 hours before the advance before the um, Flesh Craft would expire if I don't actually go to update it. So it's a security mm -hmm. camera with a maximum 24-hour battery. <laughs> you have a drone. Yeah, basically, I have <laughs> I have spy drones. <laughs> Tip was gonna like wipe the sap off of his blade and put it back into its scabble. You have now killed the tree. Temple, like, puts his foot up on it and poses triumphantly. Smiling at the crows. Ah. <sighs> So, Everyone did the tree okay. fall into the campfire? No, it would have, but Timber pushed it to the side. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so so now like, your camp campfire. is framed by the fact that there is a, um, you know, massive tree. Like, foot-thick, tall tree. Just kind of, like, laying in the ground next to the next to the camp. Now it's yeah, time I'm gonna to go the twins a little bit of showtime again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just. Well, uh, I was actually about to end it because it's about to hit 1:30 a.m. for me. Yeah. Ah. All right. Um, just where I'm gonna leave off then is that Rose is going to sit down and go back into the meditative trance, and keep monitoring um what uh, Svefenthorn can see. All right. The only thing of note is obviously just the um much further away tree, but still within sight. Uh, that the crows have migrated to. Which means you're remote watching surveillance crows through a surveillance undead of your own. Trust nobody, not even yourself. So the crows are watching you. Uh, you know, everyone else is watching the crows. Uh, and then you have Svethenthorn that you're looking through also watching the crows in a remote undead of your own. Well, I have him uh, scanning the whole area, just looking yeah, yeah. for any movement. Yeah. But yeah, the the only interesting thing is just the um the crows. So did Timber have fun playing Valheim right there? I got to kill something today. Today was a good day. <laughs> yeah, you killed that three good. It is my namesake. I couldn't have just walked away after failing like that. You guys would lose respect for me. Next week, Rose is going to burn the city down trying to find that necromancer. <laughs> Ah, I flexed on him. He knows not to mess with us. And then the twins are going so, to be following behind Rose, helping to rebuild the city that she burned down. It's a self-feeding economy. <laughs> Isn't war profiteering great? <laughs> well, yeah, that's literally what my entire nation is built upon. Yeah. Or a reconstruction is a significant part of your GDP. By the way, I, I like how the um, the tip goal today uh, was uh, something that is directly relevant to uh, timber. <laughs> because of what timber used to do for the uh, for the Imperium. Oh God. Okay, so um, Wostein sent me a clip from his Twitch channel in um, DMs of the homing tree. It's a clip from Valheim. He had a tree that he felled, 
and it knocked the second tree down. The second tree started coming straight towards him, so he dodges off to the side. It hits a second. It hits a third tree. Deflects, goes towards his new location. He runs, ducks behind a, a rock. As the tree falls, it bounces and then springs back and still hits him on the other side of the rock. <laughs> it doesn't kill him. <laughs> that mm -hmm. tree was heat seeking. <laughs> By the way, Timber, do you remember what you used to do uh, specifically? Timber was a Jago Maestro. He led troops into battle. Yes, but against which enemy? The Vosk United Front asshole zombie guys. Yeah, uh, specifically, and this this was mentioned. Uh, you were a partisan hunter. Yep. You, you would go into areas and and hunt down their partisans. Yeah, yeah. Some I persistent find, partisans at that. I would find, I would find necromancers and kill the shit out of them. Oh, that's the persistent partisan. I brought yeah, this I was, upon I was, myself. Yep. I, I, I was, uh, I was referencing uh, Timber's past with this one. <laughs> so we're, it's, it's literally just some random fucking guerrilla fighter that. This is like their thing is to cause fatigue over time. <laughs> they think they can out attrition us with corpses. There is an infinite supply in war. Yeah. But Rose, both not of if you, you cleave say, enough of them. It's bold of you to say a partisan singular. Yeah, that would explain the high refresh rate. It would be kind of exhausting for a single necromancer to be keeping up that respawn. Also, literally, the tip goal is in plural, so I'm not I'm not spoiling anything. The tip goal is literally plural. Yeah. Also, you guys only killed, uh, you know, Adric. You did you didn't like personally kill the the VUF people that were helping him out. Yep. But it's okay. Oh. You got a wolven with you. That would well, get they their want attention, round two. so we can kill the shit out of them. If, if they want a round two, that's the perfect time for Kimo to show up. He's got the DPS. Yep. We should have brought the clerics. Protection from evil. Oh, that's fine. It's not like Timbo keeps trying to tell the party, hey, let's stop <laughs> splitting up. But do they listen? No. Even though he's yeah, right like every freaking time. I don't know. The twins are perfectly safe back in town. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having fun. Protection from evil. <laughs> the, the clerics cast protection from ego. The clerics cast. The clerics cast protection from evil. The next time that Rose fires the armlet, a little flag that says "bang" comes out. <laughs> like you were supposed to aim it at them, not me. I'm not sure you're an ally. I'm not anymore. <laughs> you were supposed to join the ne you were supposed to you were supposed to kill the necromancers, not join them. Uh, yeah. Okay, who has the holy water? Me. Uh is there any left? After yeah. Timber drank the entire barrel? Bold of you to assume that's the only holy water we had. Oh. Rose doesn't have any good AoE attacks. The closest thing she has to AoE right now is the Rat Swarm, which I deliberately held back in that encounter because as soon as I realized the birds were able to do damage to me, just, just do damage to undead, I was like, not going to send the rats in because that would just be a chain reaction. It would just be Temple. fireworks and I would lose that Rat Swarm. Temple has yeah. a cleave. Yeah, but uh, just as a quick thing, there is actually legitimate effects that let you use negative energy death effects against undead as if they work normally. Yeah, um, bone, my uh, bone rattle has that actually. Yeah, 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 so there's like there's multiple effects that do that shit. So I actually think uh, the that, originals um... did not, and then they went, oh hey, uh, at least one of these is necromancer because I see skeleton.
Like I yeah, said, let's... nothing I hate more than a heretic that refuses to stay dead. Yeah. But yeah, in case, uh, in case uh, you know, people forgot, uh, Timber was a uh, partisan hunter, specifically against the, the Necromancer faction. Yeah, so you know, just to just to do some uh wrap up, let's do, you know, uh like dislike section segment thing I'm a bobber. Starting with the guard. I like the road building. Oh yeah, uh the the twins doing some civic improvement. Mm-hmm. Healthy infrastructure builds a strong economy. That's true. I am a sucker for infrastructure. Let's make a road right to the trade district. That way the zombies can go straight through. Well, there was already one. This just makes another. Uh, well, a road right through the residential to the trade district. Yeah. It's fine. Just build a big fucking ramp that leads to the ocean. It would make beach it would make taking the beach so much easier. Uh and what's your dislike slash improve? I need to speak up more. <laughs> All right. Uh, we definitely Bob. welcome that. Yep. Ah, uh, what I liked. Helping out the town. They got to Especially help that some poor guy who was locked out. Yeah, that, that was what I was going to bring up. The poor guy that was locked out of his house. And then, of course, those two arguing over their property. And, and so the, the twins came in, figured out, oh, okay, so that's where their property lines are. And improved the town by building a road where there was supposed to be a road forever ago. Uh, for improvement, honestly, I just enjoyed this session as a whole. All right. You know, maybe you're just in a good mood because you found some gainful employment. That might be it. I I'm just hoping that they uh, actually make enough to recoup what they spent as and then some. We come oh, back yeah, to the don't town. Worry. You, you, you actually camp. legit will. We, co we come back to the town after several days of a painful, grueling treasure hunt. We have barely anything to show for it, just some <laughs> random scraps. Meanwhile, they've amassed a fortune by just cornering the construction market. I like this idea. Hey, we bought a third ship! <laughs> and we paid off both of them! Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Tivo walks over to one ship, loads all the cannons, sinks it. <laughs> I feel a lot better now. Thank you. Best relief. <laughs> Wait, no. He puts a he like makes a fucking like enemy flag, puts it on the other one, blows it up right there in the port, and goes ah. That feels bad. That feels bad. <laughs> oh boy, destruction of imperial property. Ah, oh, he changed the yep. flags. Yeah. All right, uh, Moriarty boy me, Bob. Yep. Uh, like, dislike, slash, improve. Uh, about what? The game. The session. game. Today's session. Uh, it was a good one. There were lots of crows. Was that the like or the dislike? <laughs> and the hate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All of the above. That makes me next. Yep. I like that we were able to uh, get some progression with the uh, Moriarty and Rose subplot, which is taking interesting turns, even if the players themselves are having a hell of a fun time poking fun around it. <laughs> oh, um, the players aren't the only ones poking things. The characters are too. Up. Anyway, um, so things easy. that could be improved. Um, the only thing that I could say could be improved is unfortunately an unavoidable, which was that, um, well, it's the same thing that happened on, in previous episodes where they've been really rose heavy is that uh, when somebody takes center stage, it can be over an hour before anybody else even has a reason to talk. Which, I mean, that's going to be a byproduct of having those separate scenes. And in this particular episode, a lot of us were scattered again. So that's just naturally going to happen. Yeah. It's, only, it's only really an issue because of how the, the scheduling lines up with my normal sleep schedule. So my body's like, this is sleep time. So the moment that I stop actively speaking and actively doing stuff, my brain just decides, oh, nap time. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, um, even even had that uh, bit at the end there with uh, Moriarty catching Rose as she fell. The budding romance slowly evolving. Awkward as fuck. And Timber. What I liked, uh, well, I'm glad other people had fun. <laughs> I guess it was that. Uh, what I didn't like, we split the party up. I hate that. So we got our asses kicked by birds. <laughs> Fuck you, birds. We? <laughs> Fuck you, birds. <laughs> you got damaged by balls and we can't heal you because you're dip one. Nah, I can patch myself up. It's fine. You're you may fine. note that it's it's the middle of the night. Come dawn, my armor's going to recharge, so I'm good. I'll be fine. I just hate splitting the group up. Don't you know you never split the party? Oh, it's not like Timbo's mentioned this several times, but okay. <laughs> I mean, in this situation, like, for one, the twins have no idea you guys were going on an adventure. Uh, yep. but. Because they went and did their own thing. They, they, they uh, needed to go and recover some confidence and such. And I, I seriously hope that Rose was able to help them out a little bit with that. I mean, they're considering coming, <laughs> like, like they're actually going to come back at some point. Uh, it was purely a uh, not yet because they got a job. And Bob, well, you didn't convince me. It's just that money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, the party is... The entire party is broke except for them. And chemo. But none of us know about that. No, well, he mentioned it once. Did he? Oh. He, he mentioned that he could do some fundraising if need be. And Rose immediately was like, you're not allowed to kill anybody for it. He's like, I swear I wouldn't have to kill anybody. I just, I have means. So he strongly implied that he's like got it sitting in a bank somewhere. Tim was like, "We have food. We can continue the mission." 
I don't know why you keep wanting this money thing. Well, right now, the main reason why we're not continuing the mission yet, the ship isn't ready yet. The moment that it's ready, we send the ship out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like Temple, oh, I don't know, told the Imperium to, you know, wait a week, please, so we can get the fuck out of here. But, but yeah, they, they were very much considering not returning to the ship uh, until that conversation. Yay. I made a difference. That's okay. I was only wasting man hours. And Timber, you get to hunt down some more partisans this time. Well, next time. And Moriarty, if uh, you want Rose to make a second flight pack for you, you're going to need to pick a type of bird. Different birds have different flight characteristics. Or alternatively, you could just go with that. Well, go. It just looks like me and you are just going to be the ground buddies. <laughs> also, it's worth it. noting that keeping the thing animated would require occupying a portion of her command dice, all which means that if flying away, flying away, flying away. Which means if her power ever gets cut off, or if she ever dies, that uh, you better hope you're not using the flight back at the time or you'll fall out of the sky. <laughs> hope and pray rigor mortis sets in so you can at least glide. <laughs> there are magical items to fly with, Timber. I don't want to fly. I'm a now we'll soul. do it my way, the bird way. We fly. <laughs> I, I love how you said you don't want to fly, but the closed captioning says you do want to fly. <laughs> do not listen to the poetical machine. <laughs> the machine spirit understands you more than you understand yourself. This is heresy. It hates the Imperial Truth, so it will do whatever it can to resist the inevitable. It knows I'm coming for it. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap up this stream. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us today for Ascent to Ascend Pathfinder. Uh, which we wound up going for about seven hours with, so cool. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, and more. There on the website, as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, tippers, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue to bring these streams to you all. Whether your support is financial or just with your time, I am so incredibly grateful to all of you for your support. Thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It is one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by sharing the stream around, as well as uh, just coming by and hanging out. I love to chat with all of you. I love to hang out, so come by. And of course, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. And there is also our merch store over at zgfgaming.store. But for now, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you the most fondest adieu. Bye-bye. Oh.